Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a user interface template in Bluebeam Review. With Review you can create user interface elements, like headings and buttons, for users to click on and the PDF pages that they will live on. Review is a powerful tool that lets you mark up documents, run processes on groups of documents and share them intuitively. But one thing that you might not think about often is Review's ability to create and edit graphics and do some visual design. The abilities that Review has in this area are perfect for the needs that you'll encounter when building your dashboard. It's best to start by creating a template for the look of your menu. The layout we are about to create will help us determine where to put assets later on. This will be our user interface, outlining our page in a specific way, tailored to help users find what they are looking for. Begin by creating a new 210 by 297 mm size document in landscape layout. The first step is to add some design to the background of the document. We will want to incorporate our branding into the dashboard in some way, and this is the perfect way to do it. In this case, we'll just add some colored rectangular markups to the document, which will help define where our assets are placed later. The first step is adding a rectangular markup to cover the whole document and setting the fill color to 20% gray. We'll then add four more rectangles with their lines hidden. A teal rectangle at the top. An 80% gray rectangle below that. And a copy of it on the bottom but a bit thinner to act as a footer. Then there's the final rectangular markup to add, which will be done in a specific shade of yellow not available in the color picker. To add this color, create the new rectangle and then go to the fill option in the properties toolbar. Click on the arrow button at the bottom of the color picker. This brings up the hue selector, the RGB color inputs, and the hexadecimal color code input options for custom colors. In the hexadecimal code input, type in FFC93C and press enter. This will change the color. Click on the plus sign next to this to add this color to your custom color options. You'll want to create some rectangles that are just outlines to help you create a template for adding your top level navigation and function buttons later in the process. Create the first rectangle, which will provide a target for your folder navigation. You can specify the size in the Properties panel. The second should be a square, matching the height of the 80% gray rectangular bar at the top. This will be for your additional action buttons. Use the Properties toolbar to make sure there is no fill. And that the outline color selected is very close but still visible to the area on which it will be placed. Copy and paste the square three times. Place the squares and the 80% gray bar spaced evenly from each other. You can select all four. Right click, and select alignment, and then distribute horizontally to get the most even spacing. Repeat this process with the longer rectangle, making sure the buttons are aligned to each other and distributed horizontally. We can then group these rectangles. Right click with all rectangles selected and choose alignment, then click center in document. Use the up arrow key to move them into place. Now we can ungroup the rectangles. Remember that this document is also a branding opportunity. Putting your brand center stage and reminding the user who created it. Let's add a logo by going to tools, then markup, then image and click from file. We will select our logo and add it to the top right corner of the document. Now with the rectangles in place, flatten the whole document. For a tutorial on how to flatten documents please refer to our tutorial video, How to Flatten Markups in Bluebeam Review. This will be the page that we will work from. 
The last thing we want to do is create the pages of our dashboard. From the thumbnails panel we will select our page template. Right-click and select copy pages. We can paste the page as many times as we need, to cover the pages that we will be creating for our various documents. This template will allow us to quickly create all the pages and elements we will need for our dashboard. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.